hopefully that'll be a way also to keep up with um, Kelly's very revealing novel of all of her carnal experiences over the years. And I don't even Kelly. bother changing the names to protect the innocent. No. You have shared so little with us until this book. It's amazing that you're revealing all of this to us now. I had to hold something back, kid. So here's a recap of chapters one and two. In chapter one, Kelly hooked up with Cosmo Brockington and his camper. Yeah. But, and he announced he'd just gotten a vasectomy, so baby making wasn't going to be a problem. All good. And, but afterwards, he got upset because Claudie Boyd texted him Mm. that he had hooked up with Kelly just the night before. How dare she? Okay. So Kelly explained to us yesterday the Claudie Boy deal. That Claudie Boy was basically saying, I'm not going to tell you where Cosmo is unless you do we'll it with me. Hook a yeah. satisfaction. Something in return. Yeah. Hook, yeah. A, hook a heel, Billy. Nothing's free, you know. Means Nothing's end. free anymore. So here we are with Chapter 3 of the world's number one bestseller that is not published. Or, or selling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's Anywhere. called... Fifty Shades of Hay, read by, written by, and the life of Kelly Raspberry. Fifty Shades of Hay, Chapter 3. Nice. Oh, nice. I have so much to tell you. As you know, last night I hooked up with Cosmo in his Winnebago, but then he got angry with me because his best friend, Claudie Boy, texted him that we had hooked up and that he had the video to prove it. Oh boy. I wasn't worried at all because I remember everything. After I told Claudie that he had 10 minutes to do what he wanted to me, Ooh. he did something strange. Yeah. He made me a drink. Uh. Now, if a man has 10 minutes to make love to the woman he's lusted after forever, would he waste three minutes making a cocktail? Mm -mm. He served himself a beer and nonchalantly handed me a vodka soda with a strange white powder on top. Uh -oh. Claudie boy was too lazy to even mix the roofie into the drink. <laughs> so when he turned his back, I grabbed a spoon and carefully scooped up all the undissolved powder, which I then slowly poured into Claudie boy's beer. Oh, oh, Sweet Kelly. dreams, butt face. Yeah. <laughs> because he had a skin graft on his face. Yeah. yeah. Oh. On his butt. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Just before he passed out, Claudie gave it up about Cosmo's whereabouts. He'd found a shady little spot down on the PD River, and I knew just how to get there. Is that a real river? The PD? Yeah. PD good river? research right there. Yeah, thanks. Oh. Well, you know what happened after that? A night of loving with Cosmo. Mm. When I woke up in the Winnebago, I was alone. If you don't count the hot hound dog laying next to me and the four pit bulls chained to the camper, <laughs> what a oh. night. I was every part of me hurt, but it huh? was a girl. Uh, yeah. Every part of me hurt, but it was a good kind of hurt because with every ache and pain came a memory from our glorious night. I was especially. S <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, read it. I was especially sore between my legs. <laughs> You wrote it, Kelly. Why so uncomfortable reading it? Why would I ever agree to a midnight bike ride? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I got. It. No okay. judgment, sir. Got it. My bad. <laughs> I yelled out for Cosmo, but there was no response. Then I saw it. A handwritten note on the bed. I decided to read it out loud so the hound dog in the bed next to me could hear it, too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dear Kelly, this is Cosmo Brockington. You know what I always say. You don't name a pig you're about to eat, and you don't make love to a woman you can't marry. Kelly, oh. I can't marry you. Oh. Unless you agree to my plan. Oh, yes. Oh, there's a plan. A plan. Oh. I know you were a virgin all through high school, and it wasn't because you weren't great. You were just a little heavy. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, <laughs> while you were writing letters to Duran Duran in your stretch pants, <laughs> I was out there doing it up a storm. I had them carnal relations with pert near the whole class, if you don't count the substitute teacher and that weirdo exchange student from France. Oh, <laughs> oui, oui. oh and your Aunt Velma. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh. So as much as I want to be with you and as much as I love that you are pure as the driven snow, well, except for that time you were married to an Iranian. <laughs> I would feel guilty, Kelly, my whole life. Guilty that I had shared my doodah so much. Oh, my. I shared it nearly every day. Doodah, doodah, all the live long day. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. Doodah. And you, you, you're so prim and proper, educated and clean. <laughs> educated and clean. Okay. <laughs> you're like a virgin to me, Kelly. Like I'd be touching you for the very first time. Like a virgin. 
when your heart beats next to mine. <laughs> I'm going to give you all my love, Kelly. But first, you must do something for me. Mm. To relieve my guilt, you must immediately hook up with 10 different men. Whoa. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. You have to. Oh. To make our hoe count more even. It's the only way that I, that we can be together. You have 10 days to bed to different men. Huh. Man, Kelly, oh, that, that must wow. have been tough. Yeah. Kelly, was that hard to read? Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to read. Reliving it. Reliving it. Yeah. <laughs> and Kelly, as you roll off old numero Diaz, <laughs> only then will I know in my heart that you will be mine forever. Will you accept my condition so we can marry and live in bliss mm. in a 322 tracked home down by the ditch? I was going to get rid of the Winnebago. All my love. Moving on up. Cosmo. Wow, what a letter. Wow, I said to myself. Mm -hmm. Ten men in ten days. I don't even know ten men who like girls. (laughs) (laughs) But I will do whatever it takes to win Cosmo's love starting tomorrow in Chapter 4 of Fifty Shades of Hay. Wow. Hmm. Kids! 